Hey, quinto ano. Are you okay? You fine? So let's start. Okay. So today I need your writing journal. Okay, page twenty-one. I want you go and get it. I'm making this video for the ones who can't participate in our Encontro Marcado, but if you're going, wait for me, and I'm going to explain there. We, we can do together, all right? Of course, you can try to do by yourself. I don't, I don't mind, okay? Eu não me importo. You can do, you can start doing. If you have any doubts, you can take your doubts to our Encontro Marcado, all right? Feel free. It's your book, and it's um, it's up to you, okay? If you want to do for before me, it's awesome. I really don't mind, okay? So that's that's why I'm preparing this video for you, okay? So um, in our encontro marcado, teacher is going to make an an extra activity. It's like a quiz, okay? Remember quiz, um questionario. It's about um, the difference, how uh, to use going to or will, okay? I don't know, we had a small um, brief, brief explanation last class, and I don't know if you, you know, if you got these uh, two words, the difference in between them very well. So I'm going to make, I'm making a quiz. So come and participate, all right? So um, this is the, the, the writing journal. I'm going to explain you something because uh, I know writing journal sometimes is boring, is hard, but it's hard, but it's necessary. So pay attention here. I'm going to explain this page and I'm not going to do, I'm not going to ask you to do these two pages. Oh, teacher, you're so nice. Yes, I'm nice. I know I'm nice. But um, it's because I'm not there to help you. So I see some students struggling themselves, you know, trying to do. And uh, some, some of you don't do. So I'm not gonna ask you, all right, to do. Okay, so what I want to do, um, we are going to talk about uh, a special memory. You have to think about a memory that you had and you it's unforgettable. Do you know what unforgettable means? Unforgettable, it means something that you can't forget. Algo que você não consegue esquecer porque foi inesquecível. So it's about a special memory. Uh, we have here about Sue's memory. She she's going to uh, she wrote in her diary her experience about this this journey. So uh, I love these pictures. We had a great time on this holiday. Three years ago, we visited my uncle farm. The curious thing about his farm is that there are ostrich, these animals here, there. My teacher told me all about ostriches at school and she showed us some pictures of them. But in the pictures, they looked smaller than they are. I could feed them and I took lots of photos of, with my camera. On the farm, there are ostrich races every weekend. It's very interesting. I wanted to ride an ostrich, but my mom didn't let me. She said it's too dangerous. I want to go back to the farm next year. Okay. So this this was her memory that she it was for her it was very special. Okay. So I want you to think about one special memory that you had. It can be your vacation. Uh, a trip that you had, uma viagem que você fez, a place that you went, a park, anything. Okay, it can be something simple and it can be something wow. You see, you know? So, uh, I want it, so they ask you to think and you complete this di diagram. 
So where were you? What was the place? Oh, it was in London. It was in Beto Carreiro. It was in Porto Seguro. I want the place, o local. When did it happen? When? Last year, foi o ano passado. Last month, mês passado. Acho que mês passado foi não, porque todo mundo está na quarentena, né? In the current time. Ah, three years ago, two years ago, one year ago. Ago significa atrás. Tá? Então, tipo assim, dois anos atrás, três anos atrás. Procura como se escreve ago. A-G-O. K-O-A-G-O. Então, eu quero o tempo. Quando, quando... Teacher, eu posso colocar o ano? Pode. Em 2007. Não, acho que você nem era um nascido, né? Não, não era um nascido, não. Em 2000, 2015. 2017, você pode colocar um ano. Não tem problema também. Pode colocar um ano. Who were with you? Who did you go with? Did you go with your family, with your friends, with your relatives? Family is mom, dad, brother, sister. Relatives, grandma, grandpa, uncle, aunt, cousins, and you know, the, the parrots, the dogs, relatives. All right? So who were with you? Quem foi com você? What did you do there? Oh, I visited some places. Aí você fala o nome dos lugares que vocês visitaram. Eu nadei, eu brinquei, eu, é, eu pulei. What did you do? Eu tirei várias fotos. So, what did you do there? Ok? Why did you do it? Por que você fez essas coisas? Ah, porque eu gosto, porque é interessante. Porque é, é bonito, ok? You're going to write this. How did you feel? Como é que você se sentiu? Oh, I happy. Uh, I was excited. I was uh, uh, very, very happy. I was... I don't know. I was nervous. I was anxious. I don't know. I want you to write about how did you feel at this trip, okay? And why was it special? Por que foi especial essa memória? Esse, esse, esse momento que vocês viveram? Ah, porque eu estava com a minha família, porque o lugar é lindo, porque eu me diverti muito. In English, of course, okay? Aí, vocês podem já fazer, quem, quem dá uma olhadinha nesse vídeo. Mas quem não for fazer, a teacher não vai ficar a aula toda explicando as palavrinhas, não. Eu vou explicar e vou dar um tempo para vocês fazerem. Até porque não precisa ser muito escrita, pode ser os tópicos das coisas, entenderam? Porque depois que vocês escreveriam. Mas a teacher não vai pedir para vocês fazerem a página seguinte. Tá? Porque, igual eu já falei, tem muita gente que acaba não fazendo. Tem gente que acaba sofrendo demais para fazer essa atividade. Então, assim, a teacher, quando nós voltarmos, a gente pode retornar isso, retomar essa parte e fazer a atividade. Combinado? E aí é isso, gente. Aí lá na sala, na aula do, do Encontro Marcado, a teacher vai fazer isso. Mas antes disso, eu vou fazer um quiz, tá? Então, venha participar junto conosco. Porque vai ser bem divertido, ok? Bye, bye, see you guys!